Oh, yes, now we have audio. Hey, hello, and welcome to the show. It's me, JP, and it is time for JP's product pick of the week. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Uh, hey, over there in the YouTube chat, 8-Bit Engineer, Dave Odesta, Javier Mendoza, DJ MJR. Hey, oh, nice to see you all. And thanks, everyone, for also stopping by over in our Discord chat. If you're wondering where the chat is, you can head over to adafru.it slash discord. Uh, jump into the live broadcast chat channel uh, and uh, hang out. Hey, Mouse. Hey, Mike P. Hey, C. Grover. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, so... Let's see, before I go any further, uh, I'm going to send you on over to the product page. You can watch this show inside of the page there. It's being broadcast right from the page. And uh, you'll be able to get the huge discount. I believe we have a 50% off discount today uh, on our product pick. And we've got uh, we've got about 100 of them in stock or so, maybe more. Uh, yeah, they are 50% off. Head on over there and check it out if you want. Um, I usually at this point will jump to a new, new, new video from, uh, Lady Ada. We didn't really have one. We, we kind of had one, um, but it got, uh, the demo. I don't think there was a demo with it. So it doesn't, it doesn't say much that I won't say. So let me, uh, introduce the product myself. Uh, here we go. Get ready for it. This right there. Look at that. This is the product pick of the week. This week it is the IoT Button BFF for Cutie Pie and Xiao boards. This is a nice, cheap, and cheerful little friend, little best friend forever for your Cutie Pie. It is, let me throw you, throw you a, a downshooter view of this. Uh, there, you can see it right there. So this little BFF, it attaches to the back of a Cutie Pie, and it basically adds two things to your Cutie Pie. A nice big 12 millimeter tactile momentary button and a NeoPixel. Those are on pins A2 and A3 respectively. And it means in your code, all you, can, all you need to do is say, hey, I've got a button, uh, it's gonna be on A2. I've got a NeoPixel, it's gonna be on A3. And then you can do all kinds of projects. Uh, a lot of IoT projects are going to allow you to use things like wireless on a Cutie Pie, ESP32 of some kind. Press a button, make something happen over Adafruit IO, oh, Ad, over Adafruit, let me say that again, make something happen over Adafruit IO or another uh, IoT service. And you can also do things that are reactive and give you some different NeoPixel indications. Uh, this is, like all of our BFFs, designed to go belly to belly with a cutie pie. So I have one here that I have soldered some header pins to. So there, let me flip the camera in fact. Let me give you the big view uh, there of that. Uh, so there you can see I've got my BFF. Got some socket headers on the bottom. Here's a cutie pie. This one happens to be sp 32 c 3 this will work with any cutie pie. Uh, and this indicates which side of this goes up. So USB side with the arrow there. Uh, and all you do is plug those in like that. And off you go. You can plug this into power. Uh, you can plug this into your computer. You can add a battery if you want to use the battery BFF. And now you've got a button that you can press and do interesting IoT things with it. Uh, let's take a look at a real example here. So this is... Similar setup. Uh, you can see actually I'm using the very, very short little uh, short feather headers. Uh, I like these for this. It keeps it kind of slim. Uh, so this is an ESP32 S2. And I'm using Whippersnapper with this. So let me show you what uh, that looks like over here. Uh, there's the product page. So let me jump to this view of the world. And I'll get that out of there. Let's see, do I have a, yeah, let's do, sorry, stand by one second. How about like that and that and that, that'll work. Uh, so you can see here, I have an Adafruit IO page. Uh, this, while I'm getting USB power from my computer here, it's not connected to 
the internet through my computer, it's using Wi-Fi. So I have this paired with my Wi-Fi router uh, using the secrets.json file. And then I've set this up in Whippersnapper. So you put the Whippersnapper firmware on there and then you can go and add accessories. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Uh, but here's what it looks like in a dashboard. So you can see when I press a button, uh, I'm gonna get that IoT button BFF indicator on my IoT page to blink. Uh, you'll also see that the log there shows the timestamp of when I uh, pressed that. So it says 1.08 p.m., that's West Coast time here. Uh, and then the name of my whippersnapper board and the, uh, the value, so that's going from zero to one, one to zero. Uh, and I'm also graphing that, so you can see, if I hold this down a little bit, it'll be easier to see the, the graph update when I release, because uh, we'll have a bigger gap there. Is it? No, I don't, I'm not seeing much on that. I think the graph is, is uh, too big of a time frame now to notice that difference. Uh, and not only that, but this, this can work in a couple of different directions. So if I head over to my dashboard here, you'll see I have this color widget. I've got to keep it pretty dark just so you can see it on camera. Uh, but I'll go and, and pick a different color. Let's go to green, uh, hit save there, and now that updates. So again, this is all happening over Wi-Fi. All you need to do is have your SSID uh, and your password entered into the secrets.json file as well as any IoT credentials that you need. Uh, and then you can do things like set up these devices in Whippersnapper. So here you can see uh, this one I'm using, whoops, right here is this Adafruit Cutie Pie ESP32 S2 2 or also. Uh, and here are the objects I've added. So if we click on the little plus here, we can add little uh, components rather to this. So these are some of the components you could add. I just went and added push button. And if you look at how push button is set up, you can give it a custom name. I call it IoT button BFF. Tell it what pin we're using, uh, the interval that you're gonna check it either periodically or just whenever it changes. And then we're also setting up a pull up resistor on here. So I'm specifying the pin pull direction and then to give it some labels. Uh, so now when I press that, you'll see it updates right here in the component section. And then any of that can be part of a feed and part of a dashboard. Uh, NeoPixel is a similar setup. This is actually beta. This is hot off the press. Uh, thanks, Brent, for, for getting this up and running just at the end of the day. Yesterday, I think it was. I just got it going this morning on mine. By using the 1.0.0 beta 0.59, we're able to, when we add a component, turn on this show dev, head down to the bottom here, and now we can add dot star or NeoPixel. So I went ahead and added a NeoPixel. Uh, and again, you can specify the pin. I'm using pin A3. And then how many pixels, the color order, the brightness value to start with, and its name. Uh, so all of that I can then bring over to a dashboard. Uh, this one I set up, where'd you go? IoT button BFF demo dash. And there I can see the results of that. Uh, in fact, if I take I'll take a little risk here. I'm gonna unplug this and I'll grab a battery. So no wires attached uh, to, to make that work. No tricks up my sleeve, I promise. Uh, let's turn the battery pack on there. So what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna watch uh, for this to connect. So when this starts up, it should uh, blink yellow a few times and then blink blue when it gets on my uh, my Wi-Fi network. So it's blinking. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I, I moved it right when it did it. Oh, there we go. There's, there's I think, some, some colored lights. Let's see if that's working. Yeah, so you can see it right there in my dashboard, right? So when I press that button, uh, just running off the battery pack here, over the Wi-Fi, up to the internet and back, that, that information comes. Uh, and the same will work for the color picker here. So I'm going to go to a bright ish red, hit save, boop, and now you can see that just, that just turned red right there. Uh, if you want to check out a learn guide on this, <clears throat> excuse me, bring up the learn page for this. Uh, there is a excellent guide by Liz Clark called Adafruit IoT Button with NeoPixel BFF. It shows you uh, a general overview gives you the pinout. Uh, and something I'll mention about the pinout here, 
you'll see there are two jumper pads there that are connected but ready to be cut if you need to change either which pin your NeoPixel is on, which pin the switch is on, or both. You can cut one or both of those little jumpers there and then use the pads up at the top to connect to, uh, just with a little bodge wire, to a different pin for either of those. So if you have some reason with your project to not use the defaults of uh, A2 for button and A3 for NeoPixel, that's okay, you can go ahead and cut those and use that. Uh, you should also know this is a, just a general use button, so it doesn't have to be a wireless a, uh, IoT type of project. You can just use it as a button and a NeoPixel that are available on a Cutie Pie or a Xiao board inside of Arduino, inside of uh, CircuitPython, and uh, the example I showed was with, with uh, connectivity using Whippersnapper there. Um, there was a, a statement uh, Rufus said over in the chat, I've already put pins on my Cutie Pie, so I guess I'll put the female headers on the BFF. Yeah, absolutely. You can, uh, you can come up with different strategies for that. I've tried, since I'm, since I'm using and demoing these a good bit, I've tried to stay consistent with that, uh, which, which header pin is on the Cutie Pie versus the BFF. Uh, some of them you can use stacking headers and, and get a little creative with it. So you could probably put uh, stacking headers on a battery BFF and sort of sandwich that in the middle and then put the button on the top. That would be, give you a, a kind of a nice little uh, compact uh, cordless type of project with a small LiPo battery. You could do some, some wireless stuff like that. Uh, let's see, so yeah, the guide will take you through those, uh, those jumpers for the switch and the um, NeoPixel, and then there's examples of using this in CircuitPython and in Arduino. Uh, and I'll add a page to this guide of setting it up in the Whippersnapper, especially once we get the NeoPixels uh, out of beta and in regular use, then that'll be, that'll be uh, a nice straightforward way to get yourself set up with that. Uh, let's see, what else have I got to say? Whoa, let me stop my monitor from flying around there. Uh, the you can see there, uh, there's the nice, uh, nice picture of the board there. Um, I think that's gonna, gonna do it. Yeah, so head on over there, go to that URL, pick up some. Uh, I think they're still in stock. You can get them for half off. So uh, what's that price? Let me go to the page again. That price is $1.75. What a bargain. Are these in stock? I'm just gonna refresh real quick. They are in stock, so $1.75, you could pick up a, a, a slew of these. Um, you might even find uses for them, just it's nice to have a tactile button and a NeoPixel already made on a board. You could run it to other types of boards using uh, a, a breakout, a breadboard, this is breadboard friendly. Uh, you could use it on a proto board, you could just run some jumper wires. So kind of a nice little, for, for especially at this price, $1.75 is not a bad way to get uh, one of these nice big 12 millimeter tactile buttons uh, ready, they're ready for use. Let's see, any other facts I wanted to tell you about that? I think that's it, yeah. Uh, so that's gonna do it for today. That right there, let me grab a bag. That's my product pick of the week this week. It is the IoT Button BFF with NeoPixel for Cutie Pie and Zhao Board. Thank you everyone for stopping by. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park, and this has been JP's product pick of the week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.